When buying soap, you may get overwhelmed with how many different brands there are to choose from. Between big-name commercial soaps like Olay and Dove, smaller brands like Pears and Ivory, and natural brands like Rocky Mountain or Brittlewood soaps, it's difficult to know what will work best for your skin's particular needs. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we'll explore the difference between natural and commercial soaps, how they're produced, and the different ways they can affect your skin. Let's dove right into it. Regardless of whether we're talking about bars of soap or ones that come in liquid form, they're all made using a similar process by combining an acid with an alkali. The acid comes from fats derived from animals or plants such as olive oil or palm oil, one of the more common acids found in most commercial soaps, while the alkali is usually sodium hydroxide for bars of soap, otherwise known as lye, and potassium hydroxide for liquid soaps. Without lye, there is no soap. Mixing the acid and alkali together causes a chemical reaction called saponification, which produces salt. In this case, the salt is the soap. This process can take up to 48 hours to complete. Once the saponification process is complete, the soap should be made up of roughly 10% natural glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant, which means it attracts water to keep your skin moist and smooth. Glycerin is also a key component that marks the difference between commercial and natural soaps. Natural soaps keep the glycerin, while commercial soaps extract it and either sell it to cosmetic industries or use it to manufacture other expensive cosmetic products. If your skin has ever felt dry after using soap, it's likely because you've used a brand that removed the glycerin after saponification. One of the most common ingredients used to make commercial soap is sodium palmitate, or palm oil is used primarily for its cleansing properties and its ability to break surface tension between two liquids and prevents water and oil from splitting. Another common ingredient added to commercial soaps is sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS. It is the one ingredient many dermatologists want you to avoid, as it's notorious for being a skin irritant. Despite this, it's found in many personal care products, as well as products that clean floors, carpets, cars, and engines. When we consider the major brands of commercial soap out there, such as Olay and Dove, there's one key thing to point out. They're not soap. If you check the label, you'll notice that they're actually called beauty bars. Meanwhile, naturally made soaps keep the base ingredients such as acid, alkali, and glycerin, and add skin-safe fragrance oils, plants, and colorants. Many locally made soaps would add aloe, goat's milk, lemon, orange, and lavender, as well as many other skin-safe plants and fruits. Knowing how few ingredients are necessary to produce soap, you can easily make your own soap at home. Each soap making instruction will vary, but as long as you have coconut oil, olive oil, distilled water, lye, and colorants, you can add any herbs or flowers you desire to make the perfect homemade soap. It's important to keep in mind that everyone has different reactions to different soaps, but at least now that you know the difference between natural and commercial soaps, you can shop smarter. The moisturizers really work. Dove leaves your skin feeling smooth and velvety, feeling like sunshine. Regardless of what you decide to use to wash your hands and body, the three takeaways are it should contain glycerin, it should not contain SLS, and the label should actually say soap. What brand of soap do you use? Which brands do you recommend? And are there some other facts about soap we should know about? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video and want to learn more things relating to science, technology, history, and tons of other interesting subjects, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified when we publish new videos. Thank you for joining us on Feed My Curiosity. See you next time. Take care.